Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel if you're new, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. We're going to be doing a you and them love reading today. So we're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, and what's next for the connection. As always, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story. Um, so just keep that in mind. If this does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Capricorn. I have a ton of videos there that you can watch. Okay, so let's get into this. For Capricorn Spirit. What messages do you have for Capricorn at this time, Spirit? For Capricorn, please. What's going on for Capricorn in love? Thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber and still checking up on the videos and watching the videos and participating in the channel. I really appreciate it. We hit 70,000 subscribers recently and it's just crazy to me that there's still people that are interested in the channel and are still enjoying the videos. So thank you so much. I really love doing this. So for me, it's just, it's just so awesome to see the channel grow. All right, let me get back to the reading. Okay, past life relationship, you have known each other before it came up. Oh, okay. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I just immediately thought of, um, some of you might work with this person and they've, it's like, I'm getting like, um, you've worked with them a while. So I'm not really seeing finances here, more like career. Like there's issues with career. We'll see. We'll see what that's all about. Bottom of the deck, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um, flirt, for me as a reader, this card is typically a card about new relationships or young relationships. Also um, connections that are not very mature. Um something like that when I get the flirt card it's almost like a very light-hearted not very committed energy so we'll see what that's about because if you are working with this person um, if that is resonating for you um, there might be a, a chance that you're not actually with this person so let's see what we get for Capricorn please spirit what messages do you have for Capricorn I don't know if I said this, but this is a reading for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. For Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. You've known each other before. This could also be a past life relationship. Like it says here, maybe you've had some sort of past life connection. Eight of Pentacles reverse. See, I love that this card came up because this is a card about work. Something here is off about work. When it's reversed, someone's not really focused. Someone is not able to complete a task. Um, someone's not really putting in a lot of good effort or good work. As in like, you know, the results of their efforts are not really, you know, they're not really the best, the best that they can do. Tell me more about this connection. Between Capricorn and this other person's spirit. Nine of Wands. Okay, so there's some sort of like standoff energy here. Someone who is very wary of another person. Perhaps there are trust issues. Or someone's just been hurt in the past. And so they're very guarded now. We'll see when I clarify. What else can you tell me for Cancer? Not Cancer. Whoa. Where did Cancer come from? Some of you could be dealing with a cancer for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about this connection. The world and the nine of swords. Fear, anxiety with the nine of swords about a new beginning or an ending of a cycle here. Something could have happened here between you and this other person. I keep wanting to say cancer. 
I don't know what's going on. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. If that's the case, let me know in the comments because I haven't done any other videos today. So you're the only video I've done so far, Capricorn. I'm not sure why when I started your video specifically for Capricorn, I'm thinking of cancer. That usually tells me that there's someone out there that is dealing with a cancer. Hmm. Let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Capricorn. What is this Eight of Pentacles reverse doing here? What's this about? Knight of Wands. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Quick movement. That could be why something's not really working out here. Someone could be rushing. And that goes with that flirt energy. This is not someone that is interested in commitment off the bat. Um, they're very passionate and motivated. Um, there's a lot of chemistry with the Knight of Wands. They like to have a good time. Knight, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Someone that's not free, not independent. I don't think this is you, Capricorn. It could be, but I'm not picking that up. I feel like this is someone who's not very secure, maybe insecure. Got the star reverse with the strength card reverse. Two major arcanas here, Aquarius, Leo energy. Hmm. I feel like someone is, um, it's like what they want to do, which I feel is either, if, this could be somebody that wants to heal this connection. This could be somebody that wants to take control of a situation. Um, this could be somebody that is trying to make a wish happen. Um, it's not working. Maybe because they don't have the courage to make it happen. Maybe they're trying too hard. Or perhaps there's a lot more work that needs to be done. Let's see. Tell me about this star reverse. Why is this star reverse? There you are, Capricorn. Showing up in your own reading with the devil here. Your major arcana for Capricorn. Yeah, I, I'm getting like um, someone that's very um, motivated here. Like, a, like, a, like an obsessive energy because something's not working out. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. The timing is off. Something's off. Someone's starting to lose hope or faith in something taking place here. Let's see. Tell me more about the star reverse. Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. Someone could have walked away because of the conflict or is considering walking away. Maybe there's too many people involved here or someone's attached to something. There could be drama. Someone's leaving the drama behind. This could be you, Capricorn. Tell me about this Strength card reverse. Why is Strength reverse? Why is Strength reverse? Page of Pentacles. This could be someone wanting to make an offer here, but is unable to. They're on whatever this is. They're unable to really make it happen. Interesting. This could be someone wanting a second chance, or it could be someone that wants to make some sort of an offer because they see they, they see potential here. This is someone that has sees the potential of something, or something makes them very happy, or makes them feel fulfilled. And they want to start something new with the Page of Pentacles. Maybe this is a message about an offer. But there's like a lack of commitment or a lack of, um, like they don't have strength or courage here. What is this Nine of Swords about? So someone's scared to get hurt. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Someone is scared to get hurt or is um, worried about hurting someone else. Yeah, um, hmm, tell me about the Nine of Wands. 
feel like one of you here in this connection made the wrong choice in the past. Um, I think it cost them temperance, the hangman under the deck, reversed with the ace of swords. So I feel like someone here, um, they've gotten clarity about something about a choice they made in the past, or maybe there was a lot of options and now they're ready to make a decision and they have clarity about that decision. Tell me about the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Cups reverse. What's this about? Oh, this is about a relationship, Two of Cups. Someone probably doesn't trust the other person. I have the Five of Swords. Tell me if that's you, Capricorn, or if this is your person that's not trusting. Yeah, someone doesn't trust someone because it's probably taken a long time for something to happen. So it could be that because of the timing, because someone has taken their sweet time to make a decision here or bring an offer. It could be that someone's losing trust in the other person or trust in this connection ever happening or taking place. Tell me about the world. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the, this will require the decision to be final. Someone could be um, juggling two. Yeah, and I feel like um, there's fear here. Someone is fearful about going after what they want. And it's almost like maybe they're taking too long here to make a decision to make something happen. Someone's taking too long. So let's see how you feel about each other. Tell me spirit about the energies that Capricorn and their person are you living at this time in this connection, December 2020. Let's start with you, Capricorn. What are Capricorn's energies at this time in this connection? Beaver. So you're not afraid of working on this. You're a hard worker, very loyal. Also like a provider. The beaver is a provider. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Yeah, that's that drama energy. That's that five of wands. Now I have you on this side, I have your person on the other Capricorn, but feel free to flip them. The energies can be flipped, but to avoid confusion, this is your person for me and this person. Um, there's a lot of drama, conflict, a lot going on here. Let's get more using my stellar energy Oracle deck. If you're interested in this deck, it's a deck that you can print at home. It's linked down below if you're interested. Spirit, give me more information about these energies, please, between Capricorn and this other person. Oop. Tell me more about Capricorn, please. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies in this connection. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives. See, this is what I'm, I'm getting. It's like you are doubting this person's motives or you are um, being very careful around this person. You could be hiding your motives, of, motives as well. But because I have the beaver here, the beaver it does not hide their motives. They're very steady energy. Um, so I feel like um, this is how you view your person. You, you feel like you can't really trust them for some reason. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Hidden feelings. Well, that's why. Because they're keeping their thoughts and emotions hidden or they're keeping something to themselves. And so it's like your suspicions are correct or you have some sort of idea of this person's true intentions, even if they don't um, express them. So bottom of the deck, I have broken silence. So these two kind of go together. Um, suppressed feelings must be expressed, be vulnerable. Someone needs to, this person needs to communicate and be honest 
um, about their intentions or about what's going on here. So let's see, let's get more information. Spirit, tell me more about Capricorn and this person they're dealing with. Tell me more about how they're thinking or feeling about one another, please. For Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's thoughts or feelings towards this person or this connection at this time. Page of coin reverse. Four of cups. I feel like you're kind of losing interest here. Lovers reverse. You could have even uh, broken up with this person or thinking about it. Um, you know, you're thinking about what's not taking place. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are their thoughts or feelings about this person or this connection or Capricorn? What are their thoughts or feelings? about Capricorn or this connection. Knight of Cups. So this person, um, they might be wanting to apologize to you or express how they feel to you. Knight of Coin, wow. What are their thoughts or feelings about Capricorn or this connection? Knight of Coin came out twice with the Eight of Coin. I'm telling you, this is something about work. Work or working on something. That's why when I got this card out, I, I didn't feel finances. It could be finances for some, because I do have the Knight of Coin here. But I feel like this is someone who's really working on an offer. An offer here where they can like express how they feel, where they can have something solid with you, Capricorn. And I feel they know that they need to really work on this in order to to win your affection or um, in order for you to like take them seriously. Tell me more about this eight of coin, please. Maybe they weren't able to put in work or effort or maybe they weren't focused in the past. Tell me about the eight of coin, please. Ten of wands. So there's a lot of baggage here or a lot of uh, responsibilities or obligations that someone has. Maybe their work um, or career comes with a lot of obligations or perhaps there's just something here. All right, yeah, they need to um, end something or change something with the death card. This burden needs to be dropped, whatever this is. It'll be different for all of you. I really feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with career or something to do with like they're burdened by something so they can't put in a certain amount of effort or um, focus in this. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, please. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Well, okay, so they wanted me to take two. Seven of Cups reversed again and the higher font reversed Taurus energy. This is a broken commitment or someone needing to rebel against what's expected of them and fight for this. I think you guys had a reading recently where someone was fighting for your connection or willing to fight for your connection, Capricorn. So check out the playlist. Um, I feel like this is a continuation possibly of that reading because this is someone who's having the strength or the courage to fight back against whatever opposition or obstacle there is. Um, with the Seven of Cups reversed, I feel like a choice was made, an option was chosen, and I think it's gonna lead to um, something to do with a broken commitment, or it's gonna lead to someone um, breaking free of what's expected of them, what society expects them to do, what their family expects them to do, something like that. They could even be apologizing for not fighting for you before in the past. Tell me about the lovers reverse. Why is the lovers reverse? Five of swords reverse, exactly. So there possibly was deception in the past or perhaps things ended badly between you and um, I feel like you still are thinking about that or this could be another breakup that you had in the past Capricorn that kind of 
I don't know. It's almost like it still affects you. Could be um, dealing with a Gemini as well. Four of Wands reverse. So there was definitely a, um, an, a breakup or a separation here. I don't know if it's with this person specifically in the past or if it's with someone else. But I feel like this is something that, um, yeah, it's like you you value yourself or you were too good for this or felt like um, you had done everything you could and now you're just going to do things on your own. That's what I'm picking up with Empress here. You could even be the mother of this person's children. We have the world again. So this is about a new beginning, a new um, cycle for you, Capricorn. You could have um, left some some sort of family situation in the past or left moved out of a house or a home um, or separated from someone in order to have a new cycle here. So let's see. What is the potential outcome? So I'm going to actually clear the board. What's going to happen next for this connection? I'm going to be picking a few cards here and then we'll be taking this to the extended where we'll be clarifying further the potential outcome, seeing what your person's next actions will be. We're going to look at what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you. What you need to know, hidden factors, blocks, what's going on behind the scenes and any advice from spirit. So. If this is resonating for you, Capricorn, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if it's resonating for you because I love to hear from you. Um, check out the extended. It's linked down below if you want more information. All right, for Capricorn, what is next for this connection? What's next for this connection, Spirit, for Capricorn and this person? What's next between Capricorn? This person we got the five of cups and the hermit okay Virgo energy there with the hermit okay so so far what I see I don't see a lot of act oh okay I was gonna say I don't see a lot of action and then out comes out the Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy there I feel like someone's having a lot of regrets really looking back at the past missing you or vice versa maybe you're missing this person someone's thinking about past mistakes or about what didn't work out feeling bad for themselves or feeling dejected rejected as well i feel like this person's probably this hermit as well trying to figure out their next move uh maybe there is not a lot of communication between you or there's some sort of distance between you the hermit kind of um hides away or or kind of separates themselves from everybody and does thinking and planning on their own away from the noise i feel like this is someone who's really thinking again once again thinking of things in a deep way this is a lot of thinking taking place here with the five of cups and the hermit and they're planning usually their next move or seeking answers this is where you listen to your intuition really dig deep figure out you know what are your next steps going to be so either you are doing this or your person and i feel like whatever they're thinking about is regarding either the an attraction they have for a particular person or it could be that they're thinking or planning their next move because the queen of wands whatever they want they go after they they have they're not shy about how they feel they're brave and think out of the box and just get things done they're also um risk takers so this would be that person that is you know rebelling against what's expected of them or this is someone who despite the risk they still give it a shot so I feel like there's going to be some, um, maybe this is still ongoing because I have two cards about thinking and planning or just, you know, not a lot of action here. But then with the Queen of Wands at the end, this is someone that I feel is going to take some sort of steps um, or action. So we're see, we'll see in the extent of what that exactly is about. But I feel like, you know, this, this is something that's been ongoing, Capricorn. I feel like this is all about 
what's not said or expressed or maybe there's a lack of trust because of what's happened in the past or what hasn't happened in this connection. So I feel there's a lot still needing to be worked on here. Um, thank you so much for checking out my video, for watching the reading, for your support, for your continued support. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.